In which situation does the object moves with greater acceleration and why? I repeat, in which situation does the object moves with greater acceleration and why? Please raise your hands. Yes, Mr. Encinares. That's right, very good. Presumably, picture A has the bigger chance to attain greater acceleration because it has lesser mass. Compared to picture B, which has 20 kilograms, picture A, which has 10 kilograms, weighs lesser compared to picture B. In line with our lesson for today, the topic of our discussion would be all about Newton's second law of motion. Okay? So, Newton's second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. Okay? So, by the way, the author of this principle is Sir Isaac Newton. Okay? So, he was a physicist and a mathematician who developed the principles of modern physics. It includes the three laws of motion and he is also credited as one of the great minds of the 17th Century Scientific Revolution. Okay, so I know some of you here are already familiar with him 
end of the scientific revolution in, in the 17th century, right? Okay, so there are basically two sub-concepts that lies behind Newton's second law of motion. Okay, so these are the relationship between force and acceleration, and the other one is the relationship between mass and acceleration. I repeat, the first one is force and acceleration, and the second one is mass and acceleration. Now, let us talk about these two. Okay, so I want you to form four groups, and by doing so, I want you to begin head counting from one to four, starting from Miss Nisela, here at the top left, going to the right, and so on. Okay? Since we have already formed the four groups, I want you to pick a leader who are going to receive each group's worksheet here in front. Now that you are already prepared for the activity, you may begin doing your task. Let me remind you that you can ask me for increase and or assistance anytime you like. Alright? So you may now proceed. Are you done with your works? Okay, so since all of you have already finished the activity, for the second time, I need you to pick a member for your respective group who will discuss and present your outputs here in front. Okay, so may I call on? Group 2 to present their output first. Okay, so next is group 4 followed by group 1 and then group 3. Well done everyone. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all your works. Let's clap our hands for yourselves. Now, please rearrange your chairs properly. Let us discuss and explore Newton's second law of motion. Okay, so Newton's second law of motion mainly tackles about force and acceleration from which force is perpendicular or directly proportional to the acceleration of an object. Means, as, for, as force increases, acceleration also tends to decrease. On the other aspect, mass and acceleration is different as they were inversely proportional. Meaning, as mass increases, the acceleration tends to decrease. And of course, it happens vice versa. Any further questions or clarifications before we proceed? Everyone is free to ask. None? Okay, so I think all of you have already understand our lesson. So let's continue. Now, I will let you watch a short video presentation about the Newton's second law of motion. Okay, so it includes its two main sub-concepts or two main categories. The force and acceleration and the other one is the mass and acceleration. So I want you to pay a keen attention while you watch. Is that okay? So here it is. I hope you understand the second law of motion more through that video. Okay, so with that, I will let you have a short quiz. Okay? So the quiz will be consisted of two parts. Part A and Part B. Okay, so Part A is made up of five item multiple choice questions, while Part B will be a two item problem solving. Okay, so you are going to look for the force and mass of the provided situations using the given formula. Okay, so no need to worry. Okay, so you would need to include your solutions on Part B in your answer sheets. Okay, here's the answer sheets. So get one and pass. Please pass your works, everybody. Okay, so good job. That was as quick as I have expected. Okay, so you are really doing great. So since we are already running out of time, the next activity will going to be your assignment. Okay, so for this one, you are going to draw or sketch a situation that you often observe or encounter on a daily basis. 
Okay? So it should apply the concept of the second law of motion. Do you understand? Any other questions? Please raise your hands. None? Okay. So do the activity as soon as possible and I'm going to check it tomorrow when we met. Okay, so in doing the activity, you can be creative as possible. Okay, so by the way, you will also need to write a short description and explanation of what you have drawn or what you have made at the back of your paper. Okay, so are we clear? Alright, so since there are no other questions, let us end our discussion here for today. Okay, so thank you so much students for your active participation. See you next time. Okay, so please stand up. First, okay, so arrange your chairs properly. Pick up the trash on the floor and put it in the trash can there. Alright? Okay, so before we leave, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye class.